Hello everybody, I'm here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome to a new video where today we're playing on the Disaster Mod, which from just looking at the world as it is right now, Disaster is, a, is an understatement. What the hell is going on with everywhere? There's just, there's just America's in pieces. Um, Canada has Alaska. Wow. Okay. Um... Canada's still a colony. Uh, the UK's still still fine. Uh, the British Empire is not as not as big. Do they have a bit of oh they do have a bit of India? Union of Princes. Led by Osman Ali Khan. China's not too butchered. It's not looking too bad. Japan's just normal, I guess. Um Russia obviously is in pieces as well. Finland's a little bit thicker. And Germany's Germany's seen better days. And we're playing as Prussia. I should probably point that out. We're playing as we're playing as Prussia. We've Kurt von Schlitzer here. Simmering discontent, sham democracy, and political radicalization. Oh, these are some unique policies. Interventionism. Okay, cool. We will mess around with all that stuff. Um as you can probably see from the thumbnail, I'm going with everybody's favourite guy. Everyone's favourite Reichs Marshal, Mr. Goring, but um, ADNP victory, whatever the hell that means, so we'll see what happens, and uh, we do just have this little, I don't want to undermine him, no, we don't want to be doing that, well, um, well we, we, we literally moved one day forward, and apparently a great Russian war has broke out, oh gosh, well this is a little bit... Different. Red Russia, White Russia. Oh, okay. Kerensky's still, still here. Trotsky. Oh, my days. Trotsky, you're looking very, um... Interesting. Denikin's there. Tukhovsky. All oh, right. They're, they're all faces we all recognize. Oh, my days. Wars are just flying off left, right, and center. Yugoslavia's getting double teamed. Real investments in a camera responsible government as suits our nation. Okay, we we don't care about that because Goring's gonna be taken over from you anyways eventually. Another war started, the Kievan War, the Free Territory declared one of the Ukrainian People's Republic. Oh my days, it's Nestor Makhno. Simon Petluria, that's my greatest attempt at pronouncing his name. And Crimea is free. Brilliant. Of course, corruption running rampant through the Prussian administration. Fantastic. Oh, see, see, this, this, this is why you don't do reports on bloody corruption because then they get leaked, and widespread protests start. Fantastic, well, well done, well done to us all there. You guys peaced out, and now you're in a civil war. Bosnia is now here as well. Um, of course it's Tito. Um, what the hell? Did Italy even take any land in that? F what? I don't understand that. Oh my days, Mao Zedong. That's. You don't have a focus tree, but wow, you're going after the Empire. And you actually have an ally as well. Well, that came out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, the Junkers have demanded that for the sake of the Republic, that Kurt must bugger off. And we're going to do that because we do not want to have him holding on to power. We're not going down his little part of the tree. So, yep, he's resigning. Goodbye. And yet another war has started. Zion against Palestine. And they're two completely opposite sides of the, uh, the spectrum when you look at things. So we'll see what the outcome is down there. It's election time, and today the citizens of Prussia will go to the polls again. For notably free of the controversial rigging and manipulation. Oh my days, it's free of the... Wow. And we're going to go ahead and go in and ADMP come out on top. We are now Prussia. There he is. The man himself. And it means we can go ahead and start doing Goring's triumph. Wait, what? Goring made a sudden unprecedented announcement. The Kremlin of Prussia having collapsed in 1918 when William II's abdication was to be restored effective immediately, with Goring declared as regent. I, I don't even know when this happened, but Wrangle's here. Russia is here. Oh, Savinkov might pop up. Oh, no, that's going to just be you. The Red Dossier. Well, that's a pathetic tree, but hello to Russia. You formed very quickly. That's like half a year. Actually, a little over half a year. It's coronation time. 
August Wilhelm von Hon Hon Hohenzollern was crowned as King of Prussia. Oh, what? Oh, well, I didn't want Goring to go. Oh, well, okay, that's that's a shame. Oh, well, he was briefly with us. Very briefly with us. I'm sorry. Who, what, when, where? UER declared. Our path to Palestine will not be covered with a red carpet or a yellow sand. We're covered with blood. Oh, the United Arab Republics. Nak de Langen Messer. What a lovely focus this is. We're carrying out a massive purge for 42 days. And it's, it's given us a very, very nasty national spirit. Weekly stability is nice, but bye-bye uh, war support. Okay, it's a slightly alt-history Knight of the Long Knives, but yes, the Knight of the Long Knives. Oh no, um, I, I wasn't expecting that to be the outcome. Um, we have just declared war on... Gobbles, who's now got shades on. Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about this whatsoever, because I wasn't really wanting to go the war this early. Oh, you cheeky buggers. You cheeky, cheeky buggers, Wanda. Who, who's Wanda? Well, we've managed to secure uh, the north. How many planes do we have? Oh, 19. Oh, no. Oh. We, we have slightly more. Um, how many do they have? They don't have any. Happy days. Oh, the breakthroughs have begun. They have begun. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The encirclements have begun. Oh, that's a good encirclement as well. That's nice. Hmm, beautiful. Oh, there's some more divisions encircled. Well, I don't think there's any point in not just pushing forward now. They are completely done for. Yep, this is it. Frankfurt Falls, it's over. Perfect. Goodbye, Goebbels. Sorry, Saxony. It's just, you're kind of in the way. It's time for you to go. Yeah, we've lost 10k. That's nothing too bad. Yep, they're dead. Perfect. Thank you very much for that land. Sorry, Poland. This is what you get for taking my land. You know, my, my rightful clay. And just like that, Poland are on their last kind of legs, really. Yep, they're gone. Goodbye. Long live Germany. With the bloodshed over, we can now hold the future of the Poles in our mere hands. Yeah, that that's 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 looking good. Okay, you get some more territory. German Ruthina, strike Russia, the Moscow paper. Oh, okay. Let's have some fun, shall we? Right, we're gonna reach out to Goltz, see what he says, and then we'll attack Belarus, I think. I think they are going to be our first target. That gives us a bigger border with Ukraine, who does have a little bit more division than Belarus. Ah, uh, yes, Goltz has seen sense and has willingly joined us. And he will get some more land because of that. Sorry, Belarus, it's just the way it's gonna be. Another one bites the dust. Annex you. Well, let's do Goltz's first prize. Yes, you are looking thick. Sorry, Ukraine, you just have so much lovely territory that I must have it. The wheat fields are ours. Boom. Gobble them up. What can we do? German Ruthina? Wow. That's a that's a thick boy. Actually, change of plans. We're going to go for southern Germany first. I feel like that would be a sensible idea. Ah. Join us. Join us, join us, join us. We're just missing the Rhineland. We've just got 31,000 guns from Austria. But welcome. Welcome, Austrians. Form the Duches Geiserreich. Hell yeah, we will. Does that take a while to happen? Nope. German reunification. German has to have a place in the sun. Yeah, well, that is uh, that is why you get the whole border with the Czechs before killing them. Ah, uh, yes, we're now the Greater German Reich. Or Kaiserreich. Greater German Kaiserreich. There we, there we go. Well, I'd like to think we're ready for this. Um, Maybe. We, we do have a decent sized army, decent amount of equipment. Just need to wait just a wee bit longer just for us to catch up on the tanks. A hundred more days. I think the time has come, my friends. March into the Rhineland. Yeah, we reached the border. That was very nicely done. So hopefully that means I can do... No, I can't do that. What is the point in that focus? What is, what is the point in that focus? Oh, right. They peace out. 
Ah, that's not what I was expecting, but uh, well done, boys. We done it. We done it. We won. Uh, we, we won that. Nice. We can go ahead and integrate all that. Perfect. I think we should probably divert our attention to Russia. I want to take that. What in God's name is that? I think we're going to regret this decision, but we're going to declare war on them right now. Well, guys, um, I, 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 I don't quite know what to say. 2.37 million casualties already. And they look like they have zero equipment left. So guess what time it is? It's time for the tanks to come and start encircling some of these buggers. Well, um, Petrograd's been cut off. I'm just going to leave that. And we're just going to continue pushing forward. Because we're absolutely slaughtering them. Oh, there's a wee group of them here, is there? I should have probably taken uh, Petrograd before now. But I wanted to just, uh, you know, slaughter the rest of the army. Who is, their army is basically non-existent at this point. Tada! Basic infantry equipment. Wow, they literally had zero equipment left. Bravo, Russia. Bravo. Okay, I may or may not have ballsed up a little bit. I, I had to do this when I was at war with them. So we're going to go ahead and do it now. I've turned decisions on no checks on. Beautiful and both cursed at the same time. Okay, sorry about the borders. Not as the game intended me to do, uh, have them, but uh, we kept hold of Petrograd. Um, German Ruthina grew a little bit. They got some more land. Hydrix right commerce around Ruslan. Got all of the most of the land actually. Um Then we have Turania's back. Um Volkstad Siberia. And that is it. So I, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll just get ready to kill France now, I think. It is time for you to die, France. And Belgium, because Belgium is also irrelevant. Through the Ardennes we go, baby. An alt history mod, but using the same tactic that always gets used? Yes, yes we are. You can bet your bottom dollar we are, because um, I can pretty much guarantee that the French will cave very easily to this. Maybe getting a bit too ahead of myself. In this episode of Where is the French Army? <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're stuck. Metz is the capital now, um, but they, they, are, they are literally stuck in there. Oh no, they decrypted me. How will we ever survive? Oh, that was too easy. That was that was far too easy. Wow. Um, in Great Alsace, um, Treaty of whatever the thing with Jiggy that is. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, um, words cannot express that outcome, but uh, yeah, and I, th I think that is, that is us. We'll go ahead and do this focus. German allies. Um, I don't know why we gave Italy some land. I, I really didn't want to give them anything. But I think, um, I think that is it. We've, we've just destroyed Europe. Um, and we have a bit of Africa now, so can he complain, really? Yeah, I, th I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Yeah, we've got like five focuses that we could do, but that that is it. So August Wilhelm is now just the ruler of Europe, really. Um, yeah, the UK. Um, hope you hope you like your little isolation over there, mate. But anyways, guys, thank you very very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back with something new very, very soon. Until next time, guys, do take care. Cheer bye for now.